Hi guys, welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and RedDesignerTechTips.com. Before we got a great one for you today, we've got a web page here. It's going to have a fixed image all the way down the page. It's going to be the same image. And just for a bit of interest value, we're going to have little modules and sections fade in and fade out. As you're rolling down, you'll see a section appear, fade in. It'll stay there. Well, if you stop scrolling, it'll stay there, at full opacity. Then if you scroll down some more, it'll disappear quickly and it'll do the opposite on the way back. Really eye-catching thing to have on your site. Really easy to do too. No coding involved in this today whatsoever. Let me take you through it. Okay, so here we have a site and we've got an image in the background and it's static. So as we roll down the site, it's going to stay there. And each of our little sections it's going to fade out when it rolls up the page like that. And as I roll down further, the new section is going to fade in. And you can stop it, read it, do what you want. As it gets a little higher, it's going to disappear out again. Same with our next little section. And as you can see, the background's remaining static there. And it's going to do it all the way down the site. Of course, unless you don't want it to. Really easy to do, no coding involved in this today. And of course, if we go back out the other way, it's going to do the opposite. They'll fade out at the bottom. And they'll fade in quickly from the top. And again, you can stop them when you want to read them. Do whatever you want. Really nice little effect. So let's get started. I'm going to start a new page. Now I'm just called, going to call mine Fix BG, Fix Background. Now, of course, we're going to use the Divi Builder. And I'm going to build from scratch. Okay, you can put anything you want in yours. I'm going to start with a single row. In fact, I'm going to add one from my library. Just to save time. And let's put in three blurbs. That'll work. Great, so we just got a row there with three columns in it. And I've got three little blurb modules in there. Now, the first thing I want to do is put a background image in this section that we're going to use throughout the site. So I'm going to click anywhere on the blue there. I'm going to hit the little cog, blue tab for a section. Background's always under content. I'm going to go in there. Third tab along is background image. If you're not sure about backgrounds, we've done a whole video on it and you can combine gradients and colors and images and background masks and things like that. Have a look at that if you're not sure what's going on. You can find it in our playlist. So I'm going to add a background image. Now let's use something fairly dark again. I think I used that one before. Okay. Well, at the moment, that's just a section. And if I scroll up and down, I've got no scrolling room here. That would actually move with it. I want it to be in fixed position. We can do that really easily by Flipping the little parallax effect switch to yes. And down here, we don't want true parallax. That would mean it just moves at a different rate than the front of the site. I want what they call CSS parallax, which is fixed background. Now I'm going to make this section the full height of any screen that we're looking at it on. To do that, I'm going to go into the design tab, down to sizing, in height, I'm going to put in 100 VH. As you can see, that stretched that to 100 of the viewable height. It's given it slightly extra on the bottom because we've got a menu bar at the top here, but that's going to work for me. And my content, I want to push it down slightly more central. doesn't want to be exactly central, but a little bit down from the top there. So I'm going to close up sizing. I'm going to go down to spacing just below. On the padding top, I'm going to put 20 VH or 20 viewable height, 20% of whatever screen we're looking at it on. That's pushed it down a little bit. Fantastic. Well, let's make that text a little more readable now. So I'm going to go into the module itself. I'm just going to go over to text and make it light in color so we can see it. Great. I'm going to right click on the dark tab for the module. I'm going to copy the module styles, or we could extend it throughout this row. It's just as easy to do this, though. I'm going to right-click on the next one. Paste module styles. 
And the same for this one over here. And just to make it stand out a little bit more, let's give this row a bit of a background. Green tab for the row. As we said before, background's always under content. I'm going to make it black. I'm going to take the opacity down by clicking on the color field itself. This variegated slider. We've got a bit of a background behind that text now so we can see it, but we can see some of that image behind. And let's just give it a bit of breathing room so that these modules aren't quite butted up against the side there. Let's do that. We'll go over to design, spacing, and I'm going to give mine 30 pixels all around. Just put in the 30, it'll put in the pics, hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side. Same for the left and right. And just to finish off, I'm going to round off those corners there. And that'll be in border just below here. Rounded corners, make sure you've got that chain check there. I'm going to give it 30 pixels all around. And again, just put in the 30. It'll put in the pics for you. Great. And that's pretty much all I'm going to do for that section. Okay, well, we want to add more content, but we want to be able to scroll down and keep this image throughout. Really easy to do. Now we've got our setup for our first section here. All I need to do is clone this section. Two little squares up there. If I roll down there, you'll see that image is staying where it is. But we've got the identical section below here. Let's do it again. Just click anywhere on the field there. Reclone it. And we've got one below there. And I'll just swap out this content here. I'm actually just going to copy these row styles. Right click on the green tab there to copy the row styles. I'm going to get rid of this actual row. Let's add a different one from the library. Got three images there. That'll do nicely. And I'll just paste those row styles in. So I'm going to click anywhere on the row there. I'm going to right click on the green tab. Paste row styles. We've got that same background in there. I'll leave that one in the third one. I just wanted to have something to show you the difference between some of these rows. I'm going to clone it one more time and we'll perhaps have a contact section on the bottom. Obviously, you can do this as many times as you want. So let's get rid of this. I think I've got a contact form here somewhere. Add a new row. I'm going to add mine from the library. There's a contact right there. And again, I'm going to click on the row, right click, paste row styles, so it's the same as the others. So we've got four sections there, and as you can see, we're rolling up and down the site, and that background image is just staying exactly where it is. But to make it even more dynamic, we're going to use some scroll effects to make these fade in and fade out over that image as we're scrolling up the page. And this couldn't be easier. I'm going to start on this one down below. So we've got a bit of scroll room. Now the Divi theme comes with some fantastic scroll effects straight out of the box. No need for any coding. You can do it all just with a click of a mouse button. And I'll show you exactly how. We're going to go over to the advanced tab and down to the scroll effects. And there's several scroll effects to choose from. You can do horizontal, vertical, you can blur things, you can fade things in and out. We're using the fade in and out. And you can do it over a kind of timeline, which is from viewport bottom, which is the bottom of your screen, to viewport top, top of your screen. And you can decide what you want to happen at any point up your screen there. Really easy to do, as you'll see, and really effective eye-catching thing to have on your side to keep people's interest. Let's get back to the build. So to apply scroll effects, click on the row. We're going to apply it to the row. You can apply these to modules and sections if you want to. I'm using mine on the row today. I'm going to hit the little cog go in there. We go over to our advanced tab over here. Right at the bottom, you'll find scroll effects. And we've got several to choose from here. We've got vertical motion, horizontal motion, fading in and out. That's the one I'm going to use for this particular thing today. Scaling up and down, which is making bigger or smaller, rotating, or blurring. I want the fading in and out to work. So I'm going to click on it. 
I'm going to hit the little switch, change the little switch from no to yes. And we've got a little timeline type thing here. What we've got here is viewport bottom, which is the bottom of the screen, and viewport top, obviously the top of the screen. And in between, we can decide what we want to happen. So remember, we're on the fading in and out. I take this down now, it should fade out a little bit. Yeah, that's going to work fine because it's zero percent at the bottom of the screen. So at the bottom of the screen, it's going to start fading in until it gets up to 50 percent there. Then it's going to be fully visible and it's the way it's set at the moment. It'll stay there till it gets up to the top of the screen and still be fully visible. I want mine to perhaps be fully visible at perhaps 40 percent at the screen. So I can drag this little arrow here. I can split this. So it says 40% there. And I can grab this side and take it up to maybe 70% or something like that. That way now it's going to be fully faded in when it gets to 40%. About there. But I want it to fade out after 70%. So I'm going to put a zero in this top one. So it says 0% just like our bottom one. And viewport top, I'm going to take that down to about 70%. So it fades out really quickly. It's only got to go up sort of 5% to make it fade out. Now when I roll up, it's going to disappear a lot quicker, just like that. And of course, when you roll down, it's going to do the same thing. Now, rather than having to go into each row to do this, I can go up to scroll effects at the top, right click on it, I can say extend scroll effect style to this whole page. We'll hit extend. We'll save our changes. Now, if we roll down to that next section, you'll notice that that's got that same scroll effect. It's fading in, staying there. It's going to fade out really quickly. Next one, going to fade in. There's our contact form. Of course, they can fill it out, submit it roll up and fade out quickly and we're down to our footer and our top module if I go back to the top here it'll do the same thing and that's a really nice little effect let's make sure it's all going to work on the front end I'm sure it is we hit the little purple button save draft or publish if you're ready and let's exit the visual builder now if I scroll down that site you know what's going to happen we're going to roll up it's going to disappear pretty quickly Rolling down the site, new ones fading in over the top of that image. Again, if I keep rolling, it's going to fade out pretty quickly. Keep rolling down. Our next one's going to fade in. And we're down to our little contact form at the bottom here. And bring it up, fill it out, send it off, do what you need to do. Perfect. And of course, going back up the site, it's going to do exactly the same thing in reverse. It'll fade out slow at the bottom. Fade in quickly at the top. And that's a really nice little eye catching effect. Perfect. Just what I was after. Now having a fixed background image like that is great. If you're advertising your services or your office or something like that, you can have a nice picture of that in the background there. And it stays there all the time giving a little extra interest value to your site. Fantastic. So there you have it, guys. There's how to build a little page with a background image that stays there as you're scrolling up and down the site, and also how to add some scroll effects that make sure modules appear and disappear whenever you want them to. Really effective, really easy to do, as you can see. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, because it's always great to hear from you, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you've enjoyed scroll effects and want to do more scroll effects, have a look over here in a moment, and you'll see a little scroll effects playlist pop up. There's plenty of them on there, and they're all just as easy to do as this one. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you, We'll make a little demo video just like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesigntechclips.com. 
Thanks for watching. Have a great day.